Hey everybody, it's Dee Snyder here to talk to you about my 15th annual ride for charity. I can't believe it's only a couple weeks away, October 1st, and the 15th year of riding for great causes. We started riding for babies years ago. Uh, we we uh, have ridden to feed the hungry, and this year we're riding for Melissa's Wish. Now, Melissa's Wish is a brand new charity and a great charity, and it's inspired by Melissa Blackford, a friend of mine who passed away from cancer a number of years ago after a very long fight. Melissa was a warrior and a friend. Um, and I thought the most interesting thing about Melissa was that on her deathbed, her dying wish to her parents, if they did anything in her name, do it for the caregivers. Amazingly, as she laid there, she was present enough to look around and see how the families were suffering, suffering emotionally, suffering economically. Families giving up their lives for their loved ones who are dying, People, families losing their houses, families losing their jobs. The economic, economic devastation on top of the emotional devastation is just unbearable. And Melissa's wish was that her father and mother, Bill and Fran Blackford, Blackford would do something to help the caregivers. And uh, being a friend of mine, the Blackfords being friends of mine, and realizing that this is an important cause that no one ever addresses, ever. No one ever thinks about after the people pass, the ruined lives that are left behind. And Melissa's Wish is doing just that. So with your help, we're going to raise money to help these caregivers, to help these families who have lost so much and keep them from losing even more. So I hope that you'll come to the ride, pre-register for the ride, pre-register now. I've talked to you about this before. I know as a rider, you know, you're doing these charity rides, you look out the window, you go, oh, you know, it's kind of a crummy day today, I'm not gonna go, or it's a nice day, I'm gonna go. But we're talking about a small amount of money that if you pre-register, I'll tell you the benefits of pre-registering in a second. You don't have to worry about getting there at the crack of dawn to register the day of the ride. You arrive, and I promise you there's your own pre-registration lane. We've worked this out. So pre-registered riders don't have to wait online, don't have to, uh, you know, sit in the traffic. You pull up late, you know, and you just, and you just cruise up to the front of the line, all right? But if you don't go to the ride, you made a really nice donation and you get the patch and the pen and all that stuff as well. But you made a nice donation to a really important cause. Okay. Uh, there's some things I'm supposed to tell you on here uh, that you should know. I said, I told you about the express line. Uh, by the way, oh, by the way, we're having first time ever. We're having welcoming walk-ins. So uh, we can't charge the admission to a public park, but we will offer for a donation of $15, a patch, a pin, and a meal ticket. Okay. So you can walk in anyway, see the bikes. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to help help, help the cause, you want to help the caregivers, uh, people who have lost uh, family members, cancer, and other uh, other tragic diseases and sicknesses, uh, throw throw down your 15 bucks, get the patch, the pin, and a meal ticket. Have some great food from Garden City Catering, who have been working with me, Greg Bavaro, for the last 15 years. Love you guys. Um, you also will get to ride near the front of the pack behind the VIP group, which is cool. And, uh, you know, I want you to know that we've worked really hard to make this the largest and safest motorcycle ride on Long Island. This year, we've got over 60 road captains provided by five different clubs helping with traffic control. We're always, after every ride, we look back and we hear people report that, there was, you know, there was cars cutting in the line or whatever. Something wasn't safe. We always try to improve it. We want to have a safe ride. We want to have a great ride. And this year down at Lido Beach, you're going to have vendors. Great music as always from Joe Rock's All Stars. Mark the Animal Mendoza on bass guitar. Um, my Sergeant at Arms. There'll be raffles, presentations, and it's all for the great cause of Melissa's Wish. And we got some great raffle prizes this year. You know, Strong Island. You've supported my ride for the last 15 years. Started with 74 riders in the pouring rain. Who remembers that? I do. I'm still scarred. Okay? And now it's an epic event every year. And it fills the parking lot at Lido Beach. So, please, pre-register now. If you don't pre-register now, come to the ride on October 1st. If you don't ride, you can donate online at dsnydersride.com. 
Uh, go to WBAB.com. Hey, d- thank you, WBAB. Thank you, Full Throttle Magazine. Thank you, everybody who has supported me and these causes that I ride for every year for the last 15 years. And especially, thank you, Long Island. I'll see you there.